Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Oh my gosh, it is so freezing outside. Ooh, if you are in the southeast or just the east side of the United States, you're probably really cold. I think it is. I don't even know how cold it is outside right now, but it's freezing. I'm literally just wearing a t-shirt and shorts. Ah. Ooh, get me inside. Oh, God. oh my God. Oh my gosh, 36 degrees. Here you go. Here's what the house looks like after just two days of no vacuuming. Welcome to the husky hole. It snowed. It's cold outside and it snowed husky fur inside. Look at all the fur that I have to vacuum today. Oh. Hey, kite out. No digging. Gila, no. It's safer with the barrier here. It protects me from the cold. But with that being said, it's a beautiful day. Look at that sky. It's like, I count two, three, seven clouds. I don't know. I know key. All right, today we're going to be talking about things that you should know when you're dealing with a Siberian Husky puppy. Now, I have a lot of viewers that are coming to me telling me that they're getting a brand new Husky puppy and there are some trials and tribulations that you should be aware of when you decide to get a Siberian Husky puppy. Now, one of the things I want to talk about today is this thing right here to the left. That is a kennel, otherwise known as a crate, and you should be teaching your husky to be extremely comfortable in one of these things. Now, if you don't have one, I highly recommend you go out and you grab yourself one. They are a little pricey. They're going to run you about 50 to 60 bucks. This one right here is a 40 inch cage. I think it's about 41 inches or so. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure those are the dimensions. So it's going to be a large size crate. Now I do have a Kong. You'll notice the logo right here. This is a Kong crate and Kong makes really great crates. I can't recommend this crate more. There are going to be other crates that try to catch your attention. Like if you're going to go to PetSmart or Petco, they have their own brand of crate, but I highly recommend you get the Kong. You're going to ask me why and I'm going to tell you Siberian Huskies will break through the other brand kennels. These Kong kennels the metal is super mega reinforced. It is not easy for a dog to break through or bend with their teeth. I have another crate that isn't Kong and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now, I don't know if you can see this right here, but this is a Top Paw branded crate. And you see how the things are bent right here? When I was crate training both the pups, you'll see it right here. This is just pinched. Your dogs will literally bend the metal and Huskies will do this. They will bite at the cage. I think for just a couple more dollars, the concrete is definitely worth it. Think about it, consider it. If you're okay with having some bent metal bars, then that's fine. Save yourself a little bit of money, but I'm just letting you know, the Kong ones are definitely stronger. Now you got your Pepperoni Pizza, brand new baby Siberian Husky, and you got yourself a cage. Now this cage right here is way too large for a baby puppy husky, okay? You're going to have to upgrade to a larger crate when your husky gets bigger. So in the beginning, you're gonna wanna get a smaller sized crate. So this is important because you don't want to give your dog too much room in the crate. You want them to basically be able to stand up turn around and then that's all. You know what I'm saying? The reason you want the cage to be much smaller when they're puppies 
to basically fit the size of them as a baby dog is because it discourages them from using the bathroom in the crate. If you have a huge crate and a tiny little baby husky in there, he's probably gonna use the bathroom in one of the corners if he gets nervous during a crate training session. So to discourage that, I would get a smaller crate. Most pet trainers encourage you to get a crate that adheres to the size of your dog. Husky puppies got a lot of growing to do, so you're probably gonna buy one or two crates throughout your dog's lifetime. Now the number one question I get is when I get my husky puppy, when do I start crate training it? The answer to that is right away. The first day you bring that dog home, you should start crate training your puppy. Something important to note is you should always keep the crate in the same room as you. You don't want to let the puppy think it's all by itself. You don't want to isolate the dog. Just make sure they're crated at night when they go to bed. That's basically where I would start. If you get a husky puppy, you can let it hang out, you know, but if you are going out somewhere or you are going to sleep, and you can't supervise that puppo, be sure that you keep that crate in the room with you and keep the dog crated at all times. Now, another question I commonly get is how long can I keep my husky puppy in the crate for? The general rule of thumb is that you can keep your husky puppy in the crate for one hour for every month that they are old. So if your husky puppy is three months old, you can keep him in the cage for about three hours, and that is the max. Now, once they are over one year old, you can increase the time by a lot. Once they become fully grown, their bladders are of full size. They don't need to go to the potty that often in comparison to when they were pupperoni pizzas. So you don't have to worry about that once they're older, but when it comes to puppy time and crate training, you're not gonna wanna leave them in there for very long periods. We're talking maybe one, two hours max, depending on how old your husky is. Now remember, I said it's about one hour per month old. So what do you do if you can't make it home because you gotta work and your husky puppy's gonna be in the cage all day? Well, I really recommend you hire a friend or hire someone. It's a very common job, pretty inexpensive, to just come and walk your pup for one hour while you are at work. This is really gonna ease your puppy and make them feel much more comfortable, especially if you're gone for mega, mega long periods. I know my nurses out there, all my doctors, people working in the medical field who love to have huskies, you guys are working long hours, I know, and you want to be there for your pup. Just consider having someone come and take your dog out for a walk, and if you can't do that, then I would encourage you to take your pup to puppy daycare. Now this next part is something I want to emphasize. It's very, very important, okay? This is where most people fail when it comes to crate training their dog. When you do put your dog in that crate, don't take that husky out until he is done crying. When you first initiate the crate training process, your husky is going to freak out. They're going to feel isolated. They're gonna be like, what in the heck is going on? They don't understand that it's not forever. And this crying makes human beings melt like mush and it makes you feel like you're hurting your best friend that you just bought. But let me tell you guys something, the worst mistake that you could ever make is taking your husky out of a crate when it is screaming or crying. It's gonna break your heart. This is the most trying time to raise a husky puppy. The screaming, it's gonna go on for nights. It's gonna go on for probably over a week or two. And it's going to really drive you crazy. But if you hang in there, if you keep your dog in their crate through all that crying, only letting them out when they stop, when they calm down and you haven't heard crying for five minutes, you let your puppo out. The next time that you crate them up, you wait for that time to increase by five more minutes. If they're calm for 10 minutes, then they get to come out the next time. If they're calm for 15 minutes, then they get to come out the next time. That's how you increase this time and get them to become very comfortable with their crate. Now, let's say you sleep in your bedroom and your dog has to sleep in the same room with you, okay, in the crate, because I do encourage that. But during the day, you hang out in your living room. Go ahead and buy yourself a second crate or just move that crate to the living room when you decide to go hang out there and you need your puppy to be in the crate. Try not to crate train your dog in an isolated room. It's really going to make the process harder. It can be done. Trust me, I did that process with Gila. It did work. She's a crate trained pup. She loves her crate. It's awesome. But when I crate trained Britney Spears, I did it a little bit more differently. I went ahead and I put the crate in any room that I was in when I decided to crate train him so he could see me and it expedited that process a little faster. He was able to get used 
to the crate at a faster rate because he was more comfortable getting into it in the beginning because he knew I was in the same room. I feel like that's really, really important. A lot of people don't really talk about that. So just keep that in mind. It's really important when you are crate training your pup. You have to let them cry it out. You gotta let them scream. You gotta let them belt. They are going to howl like nuts. It's going to be the most disturbing noise you have ever heard. I promise you it will be over. One of the things that I encourage my viewers who are getting husky puppies is don't worry. It will end soon. The madness that is a husky puppy will be over. Just hang in there for a few months and eventually you will have an awesome dog. All babies, whether they're humans or pups, they're really, really difficult to get accustomed to the world. So chances are if you have a husky puppy, they're going to be up all night. They're going to need to use use the bathroom all the time and they're going to want to either play, eat, or sleep. Which brings me on to my next point. A lot of people are like, my husky puppy can't be potty trained. They're like four months old, three months old, and every single time I try and take them out, they still come inside and they poop and pee. Let me say this about that. Husky puppies are infamous for taking a long time to potty train. Okay, it will take you probably up to six months to get your husky to stop using the bathroom inside of your house. Now, I'm not saying that one day it's all just gonna snap like it'll be horrible and then one day it'll be perfect. They slowly, slowly grow out of it. So at the six month mark, you should be only getting like one poo or one pee in your house a month. And then after that, it should end forever. They won't use the bathroom in your house anymore. They'll eventually learn it. And if they're one years old or older and they're still using the bathroom in your house, well, I have this remedy for you right here. What you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to put your dog on a schedule. Schedules are the best way to teach pups, especially huskies, how to do things. So go ahead and say, well, every two hours, we are going to go outside and go potty. Every single time you are done with a meal, we're going to go potty. Every single time you wake up from a nap, we are going to go potty. Make sure you stick to that schedule, be true to it, and your pups will get down on this schedule. Take them out even if you don't think they have to use the restroom, just so you know, hey, outside is potty time, and that is what this is for. If your dog comes in and decides to use the restroom in your house still at this point, then you need to catch them in the act. You have to monitor them very closely during this crucial time. If they go in a corner or they're sniffing around or acting suspicious, you need to keep your eye on them. And the second they make a mess while they're doing it, during the action, you must correct them by grabbing them and putting them outside and showing them that that is where the potty happens. You don't need to be mean, you don't need to hit them, but you need to correct them during the action. If you don't, if they make a potty and you missed it and you just see the potty on the floor, you have missed your opportunity to teach them that that is bad, to teach them that they need to go outside. So just remember, supervision is key and it's super important to train in your pup how to use the bathroom outside. With that said, husky puppies are difficult in the beginning. It takes a lot of courage, a lot of love, and a lot of dedication to get them to learn how to live a normal life. Husky puppies need to go outside all the time, reinforce the potty rule. They need to be taught how to be comfortable in their crate, which by the way, I didn't mention, keep it open when they're not being crate trained. Let them run into it, sniff it around, regularly put treats inside of that crate. It's going to help them get acclimated to it, especially when it's just sitting around in your living room. So with that said, guys, I hope this helps you work on your brand new Husky pups. I know a lot of you are getting Husky puppies and you're really wondering, how in the heck do I control these little monsters? Well, here you go. This is your guide. And if you have any questions, you can write them down below and I will answer them as soon as possible. As always, you can visit our Facebook, our Instagram, and our Patreon. We will leave the links down below. Your support means so much. And if you decide to become a patron, you will be shouted out at the end of every video. We really appreciate you guys. We got stickers coming out every single time you guys come to the channel and you hit that like button, it helps us out so much. It changes our life. We appreciate you, and we will see you next time on another episode of You Guessed It, Whatever We Make. Peace! I'm not booping your nose. But I'll boop yours.